Nail Creek Services presents the Flue Gas Heat Recovery and SCADA project. This project has successfully recaptured flue gas heat that would have otherwise been lost to the atmosphere. The acronym SCADA stands for Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition. To see the flue gas heat recovery and SCADA project, we will enter the facility from the north end. After passing boiler number three on the right, we come up on the area under DA2 where boiler feed pumps are located. Above the feed pumps is heat exchange A. Water from the water softeners comes in through this pipe on the upper right before being heated in the heat exchange. Then the water is sent out on this pipe on the lower right. This sequence shows the water coming from the water softener and going through the heat exchange from a different angle. From this angle, we can see it going up and into the top of DA2. Meanwhile, on the left side of the heat exchange A, warm water enters through the bottom and cooled water exits through the top. Beneath heat exchange A is hot water circulation pump 1. This pump circulates boiler feed water through heat exchange A. And above all this is DA2 itself, which removes air and dissolved gases from the feed water for boiler number 3. A bit further south in the boiler room is the plant-wide control panel, which monitors the temperatures across the boiler room. Next we come upon the water softeners, which reduce the concentration of calcium and magnesium in the feed water. A few feet away from the water softeners is heat exchange B which heats domestic city water before sending it on to the PK heaters. Hot boiler feed water comes in through this pipe. Then the cooled water comes out through this pipe before going on to the economizer. Domestic city water from hot water circulation pumps 3 and 4 come in through this pipe. Hot water comes out through this pipe before going on to the PK heaters or into recirculation. And a few feet behind heat exchange B is a hot water tank, which stores hot water. Above the hot water tank 
is DA1, which serves as a backup for DA2. On the floor near DA1 is hot water circulation pump 3 and hot water circulation pump 4. Closer to the ceiling is cold water circulation pump 1, which sends water to the Siemens. Nearby is hot water circulation pump 2, which regulates the water flow to heat exchange B. Near the back wall is hot water circulation pump 5. This serves as a water recirculation pump. Up above are the PK heaters, which use steam to bring city water up to 140 degrees. The heated water is sent to the hot water tank and then on to production. Down under DA1 is cold water circulation pump 2, which circulates water from the Siemens to hot water circulation pumps 3 and 4. And finally, we come to the economizer, which recovers heat normally lost to the atmosphere and transfers it to a boiler feed line. That process is shown in this short animation.